The boy unbuckled his belt and took off his clothes. This done the female doctors on stage. To be honest, they couldn't see it if they didn't look carefully. The man also instantly couldn't lift his head. But he was also helpless. After all, he was only in his 20s. And he could no longer stand up. The urologist originally thought it was too much exertion. But he didn't expect to lift it off. And his face suddenly became grave. He recommended the removal of the whole root. And the boy was straight away. The doctor said that since the cancer had blocked the vas deferens, even if he had more bullets, he couldn't get them out. The only way to bring him back to life at this point was to transplant a new one over. Transplanting a hand or foot is easy, but transplanting this kind of one is unheard of. But if the transplant can be successful, it will be a revolutionary leap for the whole medical world. To make history, the urologist also held a special meeting and called all the female interns in the hospital over. Wanting them to witness history together, I thought that no girl should be attending this kind of surgery, but I didn't expect them to raise their hands and sign up when they saw the boy's condition. Just then, the head doctor stood up. He said, this kind of surgery in the world, in a few successful cases, if the operation fails will endanger the boy's life. So he suggested reconstructive surgery to restore the basic appearance of the line. But in this case, at best, it can only be a faucet, other useless. The urologist said, this surgery he had been studying for decades, and it is impossible to make mistakes. The director of the doctor did not say anything more. Just when the boy was pushed into the operating room, the boy's brother also said that after the success of the operation to give him a wife. The boy is also full of expectations. However, was that surgery as easy as the urologist said? To be honest, at first, the operation went quite smoothly. However, when it came to the critical moment of transplantation, the overconfident urologist wanted to let the intern come up and practice as well. And the selected female intern was excited. After all, she had never touched this thing before. The female intern, overjoyed, pulls the boy's key part right out while working on the vein. Oh God, what did I do? You destroyed my dorsal vein. It was over. The boy's vital signs gradually declined. The urologist was very speechless. And now, he didn't know how to explain to the family.